Hello stylers, happy 2023. It feels so weird to come back on camera after kind of going MIA at the end of 2022 when things were going so well, things were going so strong. So I wanted to have a chit chat, sit down, talk with me type of video um, to start off the new year. Um, because there's some things I want to discuss. There's some things I want to say. There's some things I want to share. And um, I've been trying to find time to film this video for the past week. And life keeps happening. I'm currently fighting off the tail end of a cold, um, a sinus infection. So I'm not at my 100%. But I really wanted to get this video filmed so I can, sit, so I can get it up to you guys so it doesn't seem like I completely disappeared. So multiple things are happening at this current moment in time. I am deep conditioning my hair as well as I'm going to be folding some laundry. So this is going to be a nice, chill, mellow video. So first and foremost, how was you guys, how was your, you guys new year? How was your holidays? I hope that your year has been starting off on a great note that you guys have put your best foot forward, whether you hit the ground running it's, um, on that first Monday of the new year, or you've been taking it mellow, slow, doing some reflection, reflecting, some processing. Um, I really hope that whatever it is, you guys have been off to a good start. I've been in a, a, a reflecting, mellow state um new year starting on a monday on a sunday seemed at the start of the week um was kind of i ain't gonna say weird it was kind of interesting uh, i know some other people took it monday they went like full on in i know some entrepreneurs that kind of just like got things cracking on i have been a very slow mellow processing i've been writing down things and I've been thinking about the things but I haven't been putting plan into action and in years past that would have brought me so much anxiety and frustration like I need to get things going I need to start I need to go 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 but lately I've been just like I'm I'm gonna take my time I want to really slow down and process um for the past few years towards the end of the year i will take time and i will fast and i will meditate and i will try to dedicate a day where i'm just sitting in god's presence listening to him having like a, a annual corporate um corporate meeting with him and asking him for his his download his advice his strategy his plan for the new year what 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 am i doing what should i be focusing on where am i going where do you want to where do you want me to take not only myself, but my businesses, my creativity? Um, what should I be focused on as far as family and prayers and friends and stuff like that? And I didn't really get to do that this year. Well, last year. Um, the last few weeks of the year was just kind of not hectic. A lot happened. A lot of good things happened. Um, and so I didn't get that time alone away from myself that I wanted and at first, I was feeling some type of way about it. I'm not going to lie. I was in my feelings. I was like, oh, my God, I'm not being a good Christian. Oh, my God, I'm being a terrible, you know, entrepreneur or whatever it is. But after trying to spend whatever time I had, which was New Year's weekend, where I went up to um, Aurora, um, one of my sisters, my sister came in town. And so my Youngest sister, my mom and I drove out to my auntie house in the world and we stayed there for the weekend for New Year's. And so I had told them like New Year's Day, New Year's Eve, I was going to dip off for like an hour or so. I needed some time alone and reflection. And I did just that. That actually happened. And I tried to sit and everything and, you know, get lean and hear from God and all that stuff. And it, it it didn't happen the way I wanted it to happen or the way I was expecting it. However, what did happen was a sense of I need to enjoy this moment with my sisters and my mom and my auntie and I need to go and spend time with them and 
do that. And so after that hour came up, I did just that and had a marvelous time with my siblings, uh, with my sister and my mom. And so it was a really, really good time. And so I left that moment feeling like there's no need to rush. If I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm going off on a tangent, but I'm going somewhere, I promise. I don't need to rush. What is for me is for me. What is mine, what comes to me, what God has for me, it's already mine. So there's no need to rush things through, power through, get X, Y, and Z done as if I'm checking off a checklist. That's not what Christianity is about. That's not what even entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, being a content creator, influencer is about. It's not about some massive checklist that you feel like you need to have all of it checked off to feel accomplished. Um, I have, I had a, I had a lot of wins this year. I, I had uh, quite a bit of uh, losses <laughs> as well, but I had some good wins this year, and I'm very, very happy and excited that I was able to do so. So, moving into the point of why you guys are here, um, I had so much plan for December. Like I was gonna do vlogmas. It wasn't gonna be every day, but it was gonna be two times a week. And I had stuff planned out and scheduled. I had already started filming stuff and everything and it's just seemed like that was a snowball effect of things not happening the way i wanted to happen um i had planned to spend a day out and about and show you guys all the different things that you can do in chicago in december like going to the german christmas festival um i did that but i did it like quick run by because i was going to the movies but i wanted to go back I wanted to show you guys about the ice skating, about seeing the, the light shows, that the different light shows that take place in the city. I did go to one on one and the different Christmas pop-up bars and that I did go to. But nothing happened according to plan. Yeah, nothing went according to plan. Some things fell yeah, through. The weather started getting, the weather got awesome. wild for a second. Around Christmas, it got bananas. It was freezing cold. So the earlier plan of going out and about, me and my friend was like, yeah, we're not going to do that. And I had originally wanted to go the week prior, but she was busy. And although I could have went by myself, um, we had planned to spend that time together to do that, to do that activity together. And it kind of just felt wrong to go out by myself and be like, well, I'm going to do it anyway because I still got to record content. You know, it's not all about the recording of the content. It's about experiencing the experience. So when my friend was too busy to go with me and I decided not to go, I was like, well, I'm just going to do this in place of that. And so not only did I change up my schedule of flow of filming content and what was going to be edited and posted, when I sat down to start editing certain stuff, I just became really, really overwhelmed. The, edi the editing has always been... I love hate like I like when I can sit down and I can really put myself into the editing and be like oh my god I'm really I'm really trying I'm trying to flex my storytelling muscles here and then there's times where it's a daunting task oh it drags on I'm stressed I want it to be over I've been working on this this video for days I need it to be done I'm not satisfied with any of the shots quality i wish i had better lighting i wish i had a better angle or whatever it is and so this time around because i had a lot of stuff already pre-filmed and i was going to be using a bunch of vlog footage it just became a lot it, it was overwhelming it was very daunting and it started to mess with my mental health because there was times i would literally be like well sis i can't i can't kick it right now i can't spend time with you I need to go edit. I need to finish this video. I really need to finish this video. And that happened like more than two or three times. And I was like, I can't keep doing that. I'm, it's the holiday season. I am no longer working. I have time on my hands. And so I just stopped editing content. And you guys only got, what, three videos in December? Which, which is okay. You only got three videos in December. And <clears throat> one of them was a short no, you got four. Anywho, 
And then you got that tutorial towards the end. And I was going to do two tutorials and a bunch of vlogs and like some styling videos. And it just got... So I just decided to forego the vlogmas and just spend time with my family. Since I'm my sister, enjoy my, my winter break from work um enjoy the crafts that i was doing i decorated my room like i just i softly transitioned from fall into winter and i had recorded that process and i didn't like how any of the footage looked and i was like well i'm not just going to be uploading stuff just because for the sake of uploading i want a certain quality so that's where i go into my goals and my plans for 2023 top of the list there's a list okay and i just got my planner last week and so i'm still putting together my planner and my goals and um all that fun stuff and so top of the list in regards to full style ink because my plans are they do cover my goals cover all aspects of my life me personally creatively professionally my different brands and companies but as far as you guys are concerned my goal one of the goals a few of them is to purchase a new camera um my old camera gave out on me quite a while ago and i've been trying to get her to work and when i can't get her to look right we're on the phone, okay? The phone is the phone is giving you guys the go, okay? For the past few months. So getting a new camera, I want a standard DSL camera as well as a vlog camera. I've been doing research. I've been doing price checking. So getting a new camera, cameras, camera. I'm going to start off with a vlog camera and then I'm going to transition to one of the heavy duty ones. Um, so getting a new camera and then... Also, also, and I'm very, very proud of this one. I've already kind of like mapped it and worked it out. I just need to do the actual part is hiring, finding and hiring an editor. I spoke about this before, but it is happening. I am first going to go look through Fiverr. I know that is a huge platform. I was very I was very discouraged the first time I partake down that road because some of the individuals I met just I didn't like their attitude. I didn't like that they barely spoke English. I didn't like that the example I gave of my videos was just just on as if oh I can do a better job than that. And I was like whoa, I know you could do a better job than that, but you didn't have to say it like that. Like it, what they didn't just say oh, I can do a better. It's it's the it's what they said. Like they literally said. So, it, mm. and so I'm going to be praying on the type of editor I want to find. I will love a woman, okay, if she's black, even the better, because I'm always going to root for black. But I will love a woman editor, and I will love someone that I can find to do this um, long-term basis. I know with Fiverr, it's always like quick jobs, so I'm going to see if I can find a way those who I contact and call is if, if they're interested in possibly being hired on as a um a more permanent basis like I will come to them personally and don't always have to go through Fiverr I don't know how that works I'm gonna pray on it because I don't want to get scams I don't want to get you know set up you know <laughs> you gotta be careful nowadays so um yeah working through the logistics of that and if i don't find what i'm looking for through fiverr i'm gonna go through this organization um here in chicago I, they changed their name but they used to be known as the chicago artist resource i think is now the chicago artist coalition um where you can either go in as a creative artist student looking for a job or you can go in as the employer, employee, the employer looking for an employee. 
So you can post about a job. There's jobs on there from theater, being in wardrobe, makeup, um, or actually looking for artists, and technical background. You can go in looking for people who to work in art galleries and museums. I found a job on there back in 2017 for art teacher's assistant. That's how I got part of that internship and volunteer work, and which led me down this teaching career path that I'm on right now. <laughs> um, and so I've, I've checked it over the years and been up to date with it. And I think I'm going to possibly use that for a few different things to look for an editor. If Fiverr doesn't work out, uh, I'm going to go through that for look editor instead of just like posting something on my Instagram or Facebook. Um, I want it to be professional. And so I know I got, I know it's a few people who I follow and know who edit content. So I may actually talk to them privately, like uh, personally, like either in person or message them and be like, hey, here's here's the specs. What do you think? And if, you know, they are down for it, then cool. If they can give me some professional advice as far as what to look for, then even better, you know, two birds, one stone. Now I know how to I know how to fold this sheet, so I'm not gonna just be here on camera like I don't know how to fold a fitted sheet now. So anywho, so I'm gonna be using that one to find an editor if need be, and two to hire an intern. I have been doing the research of what it takes to qualify as a company that can offer a college credit to a college student or grad. So they can, you know, to use for intern. I am trying to go get, I'm trying to get all of that set up by spring so that come summer, I can get some, you know, before summer hits, I get some applicants and I can start the hiring process and the interviewing process. It's like, oh my God, it's so crazy. <laughs> that sounds so crazy. It sounds cr so crazy coming out of my mouth. That sounds so legit. But anywho, hiring an intern. So, those are some of the goals I have that helps and pertains to full style. I have goals as far as content and stuff that I'm planning to do within full style, both the YouTube and the Instagram. The Instagram has been neglected for an over a year. Changes are coming to full style. Um, changes in the type of quality, the type of content and the hopefully the quality of the content and that's going to be through the camera and that's going to be through a, a, a editor and possibly an assistant someone to help um i am i realized that the way i have been doing content has been a lot draining for me it's kind of it's, it's been really really hard to start out with an idea whether whether i am styling something which i haven't really done a styling in a very long but i'm styling something i'm doing a diy upcycle or i am vlogging something it takes a lot of time and energy to do that and it takes a lot of time and energy and sometimes time and energy i don't have and space and y'all i don't have the space yet so i am going to be changing things up um and if this feels random all over the place, we, we, we chatting, y'all. We chatting. So, I'm going to be changing things up as far as the content and how the content will flow. Um, I think I'm going to take a slight step back from a lot of tutorials and step by step. And we may just get some fun, aesthetic, vlog type content as far as sewing. Um, walking you thought walking you guys through the creative process more so than the technical how to um i'm still learning a lot when it comes to sewing and there is a lot that i am excited to learn more as far as drafting pattern making and all that other stuff because i hope to take my sewing skills and put them heavenly in into another endeavor and so i am going to pee i'm going to be leveling up my skills and learning new things and so um taking a step back from giving you guys step-by-step -step tutorials 
and more over more of an overview of what I'm working on, the creative process, my thought behind it, why I'm choosing a certain pattern, certain patterns, why I chose the fabric, the style of it, and just showing you guys the process beginning to end. Um will one take alleviate the pressure off me from trying to record every little thing and weeding through all of that to give you guys a 15 20 minute video uh even though i do plan to get an editor i still want to be you know until until i find the editor i still have to be you know conscious of the the level of work that requires to go into the videos i create and then um changing it up a bit changing it up and then also possibly this is something I'm going to be discussing with uh, some, some few individuals that I will be talking to in the coming weeks. Bring you guys more video essays. Those are very popular right now. And I have a lot to say. And I have a lot of knowledge on, on certain topics. And there's a lot to be discussed on fashion, on body image, on sustainability. And I really, really want to get my... I, I, I got stuff to say and I want to share and I want to educate and I want to inspire. So yeah. Oh, that makes sense. So the types of videos are changing and new types of videos are being introduced. And also I noticed the lack of shopping that I did in 2022. Um, I don't know what was going on. Um, the early half of the year I was making good money and then, you know, later half of the year I wasn't making other good money, but I don't know what happened to all of my thrifting videos and hauls and stuff like that. I haven't really been always a big haul person because I wasn't making money like that. But I always was able to squeeze out at least at least two to three, sometimes four thrifting thrifting videos, thrifting hauls. So um, I, I I literally audibly gasped when I realized when I sat down and realized the last time I went to a thrift store, I was horrified. It's honestly, it should be illegal. It's a, it's a tragedy. So I'm going to be fixing that. Um, and like I said, more vlog videos, taking you uh, guys, taking you guys along with me as I shop these streets of Chicago. And something I realized and something that I will be discussing in these coming video essays is the lack of, not the lack, the decrease of clothing stores brands that are, were originally in chicago say 2018 2019 that have declined significantly over the past few years and not only the clothing stores and brands but also the in-store like there in 2018 2019 even 2020 um before everything shut down there were several stores that had plus sizes in store Loft, I'm looking at you. Anthropology, 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 I'm looking at you. Old Navy, I'm calling you out. Now there is none of that. When I set, when I set about planning out, scheduling my content, I wanted to take you guys along with me to shop um fitting room diaries and shop some of those style trends some of those trendy things that i had talked about in my um holiday fashion guide shopping guide i was going to go in store and try some of that stuff on purchase some things style it and when i start something holy spirit was like just call girl just check when i start calling around stores that i knew used to carry plus size clothing and was told that they no longer carry plus size clothing as of 2021 2022 i'm like yeah, what is we can have anything shipped, anything online and shipped. I'm like, yeah, but I want to try it on. Eloquy left in 2019, either 2018 or 2019. No, it's 2019. Eloquy left Chicago from the North uh, Bridge Mall, downtown Chicago, on North Michigan Avenue. They left, so that was disappointing, and heartbreaking, and frustrating, and sad, and depressing. Um, and then I was super excited about, 
Um, I think Torrid shut their store in 2018. Um, that was downtown on State Street. I was super excited to see, you know, um, Anthropology and Loft had plus size clothing and it was in store and it fit and it was cute and it was stylish and it was fashionable and oh my god it was expensive but i was living okay and to discover that all of those are gone made well no one will carry plus size in like we're back at where we was post 2026 post post 2016 2016, 2017. We are back where we started. And that's not the only difference. A lot of um, people who I follow talked about the lack of plus size fashion, plus size models on the runway during Fashion Week. For in September of 2022 for the spring and summer collections. So. Something is happening, and I got something to say about it. <laughs> I got something to say about it. So, um, yeah. So, content is changing. I um, So, I'm letting you guys know if y'all feel like I got real aggressive and get real, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Radicalized on this fight I'm about to pick. Then, <laughs> you know, here's your moment now. <laughs> But um, things are going to get a lot, a, a lot different, a lot heavy here, a lot different on this channel. And I'm excited to bring it to you guys. I'm excited because I feel like I've been transitioning into another reason why I've been slightly frustrated. I feel I have been feeling stagnant here on YouTube. I've been on YouTube since 2016. That is almost seven, eight years. And I have not grown. I at one point in time was over 4,000. I am like two three hundred under four thousand and i don't know what happened to that number i don't know if those people who unsubscribed i don't know if those were like bots i don't know if people had just like lost their their um like they closed out those gmail accounts and like they just disappeared and i lost that number i don't know what happened but i do know the significant hit my views have taken since I took that original break back in 2017 and came back. But definitely over the past two years, I have not been able to get most of like my actual videos, not my shorts, my actual videos over 200 views, which is crazy, which is crazy. I've never been one for 10,000 views. Hell, I've never been one for 5,000 views per video. But I've I've been able to get 500, 900, 1,000 views a video. And I'm not talking about like in one day. I'm talking about over a period of time. But like still. So the algorithm is changing. I don't, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I, I, I've, up, I've upped my thumbnail game. I was real proud of my little thumbnail. I'm like, oh, these are if I was clicking through and I saw this, I'm like, oh, that's cute. But I don't know. So because of the lack of uh, of viewership and the lack of seeing, I feel like I'm getting and everything and just being overwhelmed with how much I am doing, how much is required. I'm not going to do less. I'm going to switch it up. That's what it is. I'm not going to do less. I'm not going to like, guys, I'm going back to only uploading once every other week. I'm only going to do these type of videos. I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch up the game. And I'm going to do things to help with my quality and productivity. That's what I'm going to do. Because one, I love this. Okay? I love doing this. I love you guys. The ones who show up. The ones who's been there since day one. I love you guys. And I love creating content. I love it. I love sharing my creative process. I love sharing my journey. All of it. 
I don't want to get to the place where I'm only doing it for the views because I'm only doing it for the money because I'm only doing it for the, the attention of brands and sponsorships and all that other type of stuff. I, I don't want to do that. But at the same time, I don't want to keep doing beating the dead horse and it's dragging and it's exhausting me and it's draining me and it's becoming tedious and a chore. I feel bad when I don't upload videos. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't upload. Oh my God, my videos, this video not done. Oh my God, I don't have nothing to record. Oh my God. I, I feel bad. But I don't feel, I don't want to feel bad because now I'm missing out on the bag. Okay. <laughs> I want to feel bad. I, I don't, I don't never want to feel bad. But I want it to be, I want it to be because I feel like I let you guys down. Like, dang, I don't have a video this week for them to upload. Like, shoot. They ain't got nothing to watch on Sun on Saturday or whatever days I upload. You know, they come in from work or whatever at the end of the day or the top of the day. That's how they start. That's how they get into so they they relax down. That's you know, cause there's content creators who upload on Saturday and Sundays. And like that's what I do on Saturday when I'm off work and I'm not out here running the streets. I make breakfast and I sit down and I watch these videos either with my sister or my like I that's what I do. And I want you guys to have that experience here at Full Style. I want you guys to know on Friday or Saturday, Nadia Full Style Inc. is gonna upload a video. And that's your time to get into it. You know, to be caught up, to get involved, to get in. And I want to bring that to you guys. So I never want to get to the place where I forget that where it's literally like, oh God, let me upload this video. Oh God. And also, I want to stop getting punished by YouTube's algorithm when I don't upload. <sighs> YouTube is, is, she is changing. She is a, she, ooh -wee. She is a fickle beast. And she is changing, okay? She's changing, y'all. She is not cute, okay? She get an attitude and it's a problem. YouTube punish you when you don't upload, when you're supposed to upload, and how you regularly upload. And y'all know I have always struggled with inconsistency when it comes to uploading content here on YouTube. And so my goal, top of the goal for 2023, is to be more consistent with when I upload, the time I upload, and what I upload. Like, I'm... And I believe the help of a editor and a help of a assistant, an intern, and a team that is to come in the months to come will help me with that. Because I got so many thoughts and ideas and plans, and I know it's something I cannot do on my own. It is not. I don't want to. I don't want to do it by myself. I know I can't do it by myself, and I don't want to do it by myself. So, when I say a team, I'm, I, got, I got some conversations to have in the next coming weeks. I got to actually, actually, I got a text message to send out. So, uh, meet and get me scheduled. Because I, I, I was resting at the top of this year. I was resting this week. Last week and this week. The next week, it's game time. It's go time. It's gonna get things done. So, yeah. That's, um... That's pretty much it, Stylers. Like, I, just, I wanted to sit here and ramble. I've been trying to get this video uploaded, scheduled. I've been trying to get this video filmed and uploaded for the past two weeks. So, that I start the new year off right talking to you guys before I got into my favorites of 2022, my goals, my bucket, what all the other stuff. I wanted to talk to you guys on what was happening, why it was happening, where the channel was going, and what I was planning. <laughs> um so yeah that's pretty much it i'm excited i hope out of the rambling i've done you guys are excited for the future of full style Inc. i hope you guys are will still be on board and still be here when things are about to pop off. And if you guys have any recommendations, any suggestions for um, the type of content you want to see, for hiring an editor, hiring, getting a team, 
<laughs> but if you guys have anything, um, please head to the um, the link, the comment, the description box. Lord have mercy. Head to the description box and go fill out that survey and leave. I left it open for you to add stuff to. So I would love to hear from you guys. I would love to hear for the faithful 47, 75 people that watch my videos when they are uploaded and YouTube lets you see them, whether you're on the notification game or you just happen to be scrolling, you see them or whatever it is going on. So the faithful few that still watch my videos, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you. Please share your thoughts. Please share your thoughts and your words. Be kind. Remember, I am an artist and I am sensitive about my shit, but I would love to hear from you. Constructive criticism is welcome. Constructive criticism is welcome. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys are have having a great start to your 2023. I pray you most success, happiness, health, strength, courage, and love for this year and the years to come. Know that I am here with you and for you, that I am praying for y'all, truly praying for y'all. And know that you are loved and worthy and worthy to be loved. But most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time, stylists. Now I actually gotta put this laundry away, like, uh, Cause that's what we're trying to do in 2023. We're trying to fold and put laundry away on the same day.